prayer for the 2022 national and local elections. Let us pray that the forthcoming national and local elections may truly reflect the will of the Lord who guides our nation. For every petition, let us pray together, Deliver us, Lord. Deliver us, Lord. From coercion, intimidation, violence, and terrorism. Deliver us, Lord. From dishonesty, lies, and all distortion of truth. Deliver us, Lord. From bribery, graft, and all conspiracy for fraud. Deliver us, Lord. From gullibility to the deceptive and blindness of perspective. Deliver us, Lord. From threats, intimidation, and perverse language. Deliver us, Lord. Now let our response be, Hear us, Lord. Hear us, Lord. That conscience may always be our ultimate norm. Hear us, Lord. That the common good may always be our highest goal. Hear us, Lord. That human dignity may be respected all the time. Hear us, Lord. That the poor and the weak may always have the priority. Hear us, Lord. That care for creation may never be ignored. Hear us, Lord. That solidarity may guide the path of peace and development. Hear us, Lord. That genuine fear of God and love of neighbors may guide those who seek public office. Hear us, Lord. Let us pray. Shepherd of souls and Savior of the nations, politics is your gift to us, a call to serve others and grow in holiness. Guide our politics as you guide our lives. May our political engagement for voters and candidates bring glory to your loving name and help us grow in holiness forever and ever. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. We come before the altar of the Lord, bringing our intentions. We continue to pray for all those who are affected by this pandemic, for peace in the whole world, peace in our country, peace especially in Ukraine and in Russia. And so let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the wounds of sin and division. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you intercede for us with your Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that though in our weakness we fail, we may be revived through the passion of your only begotten Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Here is my servant whom I uphold, my chosen one with whom I am pleased, upon whom I have put my spirit. He shall bring forth justice to the nations, not crying out, not shouting, not making his voice heard in the street. A bruised reed he shall not break, and a smoldering wick he shall not quench, until he establishes justice on the earth. The coastlands will wait for his teaching. Thus says God the Lord, who created the heavens and stretched them out, who spreads out the earth with its crops, who gives breath to its people and spirit to those who walk on it. I, the Lord, have called you for the victory of justice. 
I have grasped you by the hand. I formed you and set you as a covenant of the people, a light for the nations, to open the eyes of the blind, to bring out prisoners from confinement and from the dungeon those who live in darkness. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom should I fear? The Lord is my life's refuge. Of whom should I be afraid? The Lord is my light and my salvation. When evildoers come at me to devour my flesh, my foes and my enemies themselves stumble and fall. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Though an army encamp against me, my heart will not fear. Though war be waged upon me, even then when I, will I trust. The Lord is my light and my salvation. I believe that I shall see the bounty of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord with courage. Be stout-hearted and wait for the Lord. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Please stand. Nagpupuri kami sa'yo, Hari namin, Yeso Kristo, Ang pagkamay ko sa tao. Ay talagang patutuwa na kami The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Six days before Passover, Jesus came to Bethany, where Lazarus was, whom Jesus had raised from the dead. They gave a dinner for him there, and Martha served while Lazarus was one of those reclining at table with him. Mary took a litter of costly perfumed oil made from genuine aromatic nard and anointed the feet of Jesus and dried them with her hair. The house was filled with the fragrance of the oil. Then Judas the Iscariot, one of his disciples, and the one who would betray, would betray him said, why was this oil not sold for three hundred days' wages and given to the poor? He said this not because he cared about the poor, but because he was a thief and held the money bag and used to steal the contributions. So Jesus said, Leave her alone. Let her keep, let her keep this for the day of my burial. You always have the poor with you, but you do not always have me. The large crowd of the Jews found out that he was there and came, not only because of him, but also to see Lazarus, whom he had raised from the dead. And the chief priests plotted to kill Lazarus too, because many of the Jews were turning away and believing in Jesus because of him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. As we journey through this Holy Week, there is one thing that we could reflect on. Where should our eyes be fixed? San ba tayo sana nakafocus ngayong Semana Santa? Saan ba nakatuon yung ating paningin? And as we look at our Gospel, there are different characters that could help us reflect on these questions. First, let us look at the character of Mary, Mary of Bethany, the sister of Lazarus. 
Siya yung lumapit kay Jesus upang pahiran ng mamahaling pabango yung kanyang paa. It was not an ordinary anointing. To be anointed with an expensive perfume would mean something. And it was an act of gratitude for Jesus because He has raised Lazarus, her brother, from the dead. Isang tanda ng pasasalamat para sa ginawa ni Jesus sa pamilya ni na Marta, Maria, at Lazaro. Her focus was to thank Jesus. Her focus was their friendship with Jesus. The second character is Judas. And for obvious reasons, his focus was not the poor. He may have said something about the poor, but that was not his original but that was not his original focus. His focus was the money. Kunwari may malasakit siya sa mga mahihirap, pero magnanakaw lang pala. Kunwari may tutulong sa mahihirap, pero pagkakataon lang pala yon para makakupit siya. What is his focus? Money. The third character that we can reflect on were the chief priests who were plotting to kill Jesus and Lazarus. And what was their focus? San sila nakatingin? Sa sarili lang nila. They were full of themselves and they see Jesus and Lazarus as a threat to their own fame and power. And lastly, the Jews who were now turning away from the chief priests and are now believing in Jesus. It was because they have focused on the words and actions of Jesus that they have found themselves turning away from the chief priests. Dahil nakita nila yung ginagawa ni Jesus, dahil sinusubaybayan nila yung mga salita ni Jesus, dahil sinusubaybayan nila yung mga tinuturo ni Jesus, may dahilan sila para sumunod kay Jesus. And as we look at these characters, let us not forget that we do not only fall into a single category from these characters. Lahat tayo nagiging katulad nila minsan sa yugto ng ating buhay. Nagiging katulad din tayo ni Maria ng Betanya na abot-abot din ang pasasalamat sa Diyos kapag naibigay yung ating kahiningan. Like Judas, we can also be concerned, maybe not specifically about money, but about the things that we could take for ourselves. Minsan iniisip natin, ano bang makukuha ko dito? Ano bang makukuha ko para sa sarili ko? Ano bang makukuha natin para sa ganang atin lang? We can also be too full of ourselves, like the chief priests in our gospel. May mga pagkakataon na para bang gusto din natin yung sentro ng atensyon. And lastly, there are also times wherein we see how the Word of God invites us to return to Him. And that is our life as Christians. But the challenge is, how often do we focus our attention to the Word of God? How often do we focus our eyes on Jesus? Tuwing Semana Santa lang ba? At pagkatapos ng Semana Santa, tulod na rin ba tayo ni Judas Iscariote na nag-iisip na kung ano naman yung para sa atin? Hopefully, this will be the challenge for us this Holy Week. As we look at the different characters in our Gospel, may we also learn where should our eyes be fixed. Kung dumating man na matukso tayong muli, Sana maging paalaala sa atin yung mga araw na ito na mabalikang muli yung mga salita ni Jesus. Nang sa gayon, tunay tayong mapapanibago ng mga banal at mga mahal na araw na ito. Please stand.
Jesus' gentle manner invites us to turn humbly to him for forgiveness. Assured of his compassion, let us bring our petitions before him. For every intention, we will say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are suffering and experiencing difficulties in life may bear their trials with patience. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That prisoners may have the consolation of the Spirit. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That we may come to the aid of the destitute. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for all who are sick, especially those afflicted with COVID-19, and for those who care for them. May the vaccines and medicines, as well as our concern for each other, help end this pandemic. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may rest in God's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. Father, you sent your Son to us on a mission of mercy. Grant that we may always be comforted by his gentleness and strengthened by his presence in our lives. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, to become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for to your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of divine and work of human hands, to become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Please stand. Pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look graciously, O Lord, upon the sacred mysteries we celebrate here, and may what we have mercifully provided to cancel the judgment we incurred Bear for us fruit in eternal life, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the days of his saving passion and glorious resurrection are approaching, by which the pride of the ancient foe is vanquished, and the mystery of our redemption in Christ is celebrated. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices in your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs, in one chorus of exultant praise, as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel.
You, therefore, Almighty Father, we bless through Jesus Christ, your Son, who comes in your name. He himself is the word that brings salvation, the hand you extend to sinners, the way by which your peace is offered to us. When we ourselves had turned away from you on account of our sins, you brought us back to be reconciled, O Lord, so that converted at last to you, we might love one another through your Son, whom for our sake you handed over to death. And now, celebrating the reconciliation Christ has brought us, we entreat you, sanctify these gifts by the outpouring of your Spirit, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, whose command we fulfill when we celebrate these mysteries. For when about to give his life to set us free, as he reclined at supper, he himself took bread into his hands, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, on that same evening, he took the chalice of blessing in his hands, confessing your mercy, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Celebrating, therefore, the memorial of the death and resurrection of your Son, who left us this pledge of his love, we offer you what you have, you have, what you have bestowed on us, the sacrifice of perfect reconciliation. Holy Father, we humbly beseech you to accept us also together with your Son, and in the saving banquet, graciously to endow us with this very Spirit, who takes away everything that estranges us from one another. May he make your church a sign of unity and an instrument of your peace among all people. And may he keep us in communion with Francis our Pope, and Jose our Bishop, and all the bishops, and your entire people. Just as you have gathered us now at the table of your Son, so also bring us together with the glorious Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and all the saints, with our brothers and sisters and those of every race and tongue who have died in your friendship. Bring us to share with them the unending banquet of unity in a new heaven and a new earth where the fullness of your peace will shine forth in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our, our Father, Father, who art, who art in, in heaven, heaven Hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. 
Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you, that should, you enter should enter under my, under my roof, but only, but only say, say the, the word, word and, and my soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. Visit your people, O Lord, we pray, and with ever watchful love, look upon the hearts dedicated to you by means of these sacred mysteries, so that under your protection we may keep safe this remedy of eternal salvation, which by your mercy we have received. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow down for the blessing. May your protection, O Lord, we pray, defend the humble, and keep ever safe those who trust in your mercy, that they may celebrate the Paschal festivities 
not only with bodily observance, but above all with purity of mind, through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. So